Hello, my name is Louis Saltero at Global Marine Networks, and today we're going to demonstrate to you how to do email over an ISAT Phone Pro using a Macintosh computer. Um, before we can start, we need to download some software. Um, Global Marine Networks offers an email service uh, that works over the ISAT Phone, uh, and there's a three day demo version of that software, and so um, I'll show you how to download, install, and configure that. Um, software, register the service for the email, and then uh, do an email session over the satellite phone. So we need to go to our globe, to our website at www.globalmarina.com and uh, once you're there you need to navigate to the iSat Phone Pro website or page and you do that by going to product categories in the link bar on the left hand side, going down to satellite phones and terminals and then selecting the iSat Phone Pro. Uh, there's a nice big green button there that says Xgate free trial. If you click on that button that will commence the download of the software. Uh, while the software is downloading, which takes a few seconds, uh, I'd like to point out that there's a lot of useful information on this page, so I invite you to browse the page. Uh, towards the bottom on the right hand side of the page you'll find some useful links. Uh, they include uh, videos that demonstrate how to configure the phone and use the phone, uh, this video included. And on the right, and uh, towards the bottom on the right hand side, you'll also see links to the Inmarsat solution guides, which are PDFs which describe in detail how to configure the phones for use with our software um, and um, email service, and to do email service over the satellite phone. Anyway, um, the software is now downloaded, and Safari will automatically mount the, uh, the DMG file or the disk image. Um, with just which contains the installer for our escape. So let's go ahead and close these windows since we no longer need them. And uh, to install the software, what you'll do is you'll grab the big red X uh, in the installer and then drag it over into the applications folder. That will copy the application onto your computer. A uh, useful thing to do is to create a shortcut or a link on the link bar on the launch bar. Uh, to make it easy to access the application and to do that you would just double click on the application scroll down find xgate and then just go ahead and drag it and put it on the on the bar um, that um, creates a link or an alias to the application so we're now completed with the software installation we can go ahead and close the installer and then unmount the disk image okay. the next step is to run the application. So uh, to do that we just click on the big red X and that brings up the application. This is the first time we've run the application so a Mac OS X is going to ask us if we want to run it. It's telling us that it was downloaded over the internet which indeed it was and we'll say open which will cause uh, the, the installation wizard uh, to come up. On the installation wizard we'll select register for three-day demo since that's what we're doing here. If you're a pre-existing GMN customer you could enter your Xgate username and password under the pre-assigned username and password selection there and start using the program. If you're a new customer that would like to purchase a service you can go ahead and create the new account and that will create the new service. Since we're doing the three-day demo uh, we'll go ahead and select that and then hit next. Um, the next screen asks us how we connect to the internet. We're going to go ahead and select network connection. That's going to make things a little simpler to register the demo and actually use the software um, before we connect the satellite phone. Uh, once we know that everything is registered and working correctly, then we can go ahead and configure the satellite phone. Uh, if you don't have an internet connection, then you could select some of the other options, uh, specifically satellite phone, to configure the satellite phone and do the registration over the satellite phone. But um, that's a little more tedious to do, and so this is the recommended procedure right now to use the network connection. So we'll hit next. Um, you have some information about the service, uh, some notifications that we invite you to read, we have to accept the terms and conditions and then we come up with a form that we must fill out in order to get the registration to work and so I'll go ahead and do that with my personal information here um, Global Marine Networks uh, 2668 Jericho Road in Maryville Tennessee 37803 um, no credit cards are necessary since um, this is a demo uh, phone number, we should enter a phone number, we'll enter the company phone number I three seven nine eight seven two three. you would enter your phone number there and um, we'll go ahead and enter the toll-free number here in case you need it 
eight six five three seven nine eight seven two three. And then finally, you need an email address. I will enter my email address here, globalmarinenet.com. And uh, we're now ready to submit the form. So we'll go ahead and submit the form. The form gets submitted over the internet. And uh, immediately we come back with a screen which says that your demo registration has been successful. And it tells us what our email address is, which is a kind of a strange num numeric uh, uh, number there with some random digits in it. Uh, and that uh, email address will be valid for three days and then it'll be expunged from the system and stop working. So we hit OK and we're finished. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, test it by just hitting the start button in our Xgate software here. That will establish a connection to the service. It'll go ahead and download an email, uh, which is the welcome email uh, that the service just sent us, welcoming, welcoming us to the demo. Now, um, let me explain uh, before we continue a bit about how Xgate works. Uh, Xgate has two components. It has a a component that is a transfer component that is used for transferring the mail to and from the computer over the satellite phone and it has a component for reading and creating emails while you're offline and so it's a two-step process you read and you create emails offline once uh, you've created your emails you and they're queued up to be sent then you bring on the transfer agent to send the uh, emails over the satellite link and download any messages that are on the server as quickly as possible. So uh, to bring up the email client to do your reading and to create your emails you would click on the email icon in the toolbar. Um, this is the first time this has been run so it asks me what language I want to be in. I will select English and uh, we see that we have two mail messages in our inbox. One was a message that came with the software which is from technical support which explains how to use the service and the other one is a message that just came in uh, welcoming, welcoming us to the three-day demo. Uh, so we can read those uh, by just double-clicking on them and bringing up a window and having our message here. So pretty much just standard email client operation. To um, create an email, we would click on the new email. We would put in info at globalmarine.com as an email address or any email address that you want to send the mail to. Put in a subject and then just hit the send button. Now, on a standard internet email client, that would send the message over the internet. Uh, here it does not. It sends the message to Xgate, uh, which is our transfer agent, and it's queued up to send. So you would create all of your, air, air, your mail messages offline and then send them at a later date. Uh, since we're done now send, creating our emails, we can go ahead and exit the email client and uh, come back and notice that our big red X icon is now a mailbox, which uh, indicates that Xgate is running and that there's a flag that's going up and down uh, which tells us that there's mail messages that are queued and pending to be sent out over the network. Um, that flag will continue to go up and down until we actually transfer the messages. It's just a reminder. To transfer the messages we bring up our Xgate GUI by either by clicking on the uh, icon or by just um, uh, just going to the window and activating it and then hitting the start button and that will cause the mail message to be sent and uh, you notice looking at the log entries there that the message was indeed uh, sent to the server. The next step then is to um, configure the satellite phone for use with our email program. Uh, to do that we go to the Xscape program menu and we select modem and dial-up installer. This will bring up a wizard uh, which will walk us through the procedure to uh, install the drivers for the satellite phone. So we hit continue, we hit continue, we hit continue, we agree, we're using all the defaults. It'll ask us for the system password. Um, it'll install some files and then it'll ask us for the system password again. And this will bring up the Mac dial-up network installer. Uh, under provider we select the type of satellite service that we want to use, in this case the ISAT Phone Pro. And then we must select the, ser the serial port or the USB port that is being used to communicate with the satellite phone. If you notice, the uh, iSat phone creates two different serial ports on the system. Uh, in this case, it's USB modem DUM2 and USB modem DUM7. Uh, in your system, the numbers may be different. 
Uh, what's important to note is that the uh, data port, the one that is used to communicate with the service, is going to be the lower numbered one. And that's the default in this case. And so we'll go ahead and select that. And we'll hit OK. And then we'll hit Close. And at that point, our satellite modems have been installed. One thing to note is that as soon as we do this, uh, we lose our internet connection. And the reason for that is because the dial-up installer creates a Macintosh location, a new one for doing the dialing. If you go to the Apple menu and then you go to the locations, you notice that now you have two locations automatic, which is the one that you've probably been using to communicate over the internet, and then a brand new one which contains the dial-up information for the Mac. Um, to get back on the internet, you would just select automatic and that would put you back onto the internet. Uh, every time you use a satellite phone, uh, the system will automatically switch you over to the iSat phone um, location. Uh, so we're basically ready to roll here. Um, before we go ahead and test the satellite phone, what, we'd let, what I suggest we do is we go here to the Xscape preferences and just check the settings here. Uh, if we go to the connection tab, we'll notice that the default connection has been indeed set to the iSat phone pro and the type has been set to NMARSTAT, which is exactly the settings that we need in order to communicate over the iSat phone. If we wanted to communicate over the internet, um, we would uh, change our location to automatic and then we would go ahead and set our default connection to network connection and set the type to network and that will also allow us to connect to the network. Alternately, we can go down here and click use another network if already open and that will tell Xgate to test to see if there's a network connection first and if there is to go ahead and use it to send its email. Otherwise, uh, it tells Xscape to um, to dial the phone connection if there is no internet connection. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck that because we want to force use of the satellite phone and not the internet connection. And while we're here, let's go ahead and click on the gateway tab. We see that here's our demo username and password. Uh, if we were to purchase a service from GMN for email, we would need to come in here and then put in our assigned username and password. So I'm going to hit cancel since nothing needs to be done. And uh, we're now ready to do our email session. So um, we make sure that the satellite phone is on. And um, well, let's do this. Before we do that, let's go ahead and create an email message so that we can go ahead and send that over the satellite phone. So we'll click on the email. We'll click on new email to create a new email. This will be our second email message. This is going to go to info at globalmarinenet.com. This will be our second test. And we hit send. We notice that the flag is going up and down. We now can bring up Xscape. We can do that by clicking on the mailbox icon. Or we can click on the little Xscape icon on the toolbar for the email client. Um, and then we hit the start button. Once we hit the start button, uh, we notice that the software starts to interact with the phone. The log file is a little different than it was when we were doing the internet connection. We see that it's initially initializing a PPP connection and that is dialing phone number 28. If we look on the face of the satellite phone, we notice that we are dialing 28 and um, waiting for the connection to be established. It takes about a minute to establish the connection before data starts um, being transferred to and from our, our servers on the internet. Uh, and so we need to be patient here while that connection is being brought up. So we see that the phone now has been answered on the remote end. Um, a connection has been established. We're now in the authentication phase of the PPP protocol and we're negotiating the PPP protocol. So we still don't have an internet connection. Okay, we have now received an IP address and so we should be connected here momentarily and then we should start sending and here we go now we're logging into the server and we're sending the mail message that we created uh, we now then check to see if we have any 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 email messages so we're receiving any email messages that are on the server there are no mail messages on the server and so we now disconnect and so that whole session took one minute. Um, so that concludes our, um, our session here. We've now completely completed the installation of the software, configured it for the iSat phone, and uh, sent an email message. So anyway, 
enjoy the free demo and um, until next time uh, this is Lewis signing off